Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins Discovery Tour. On this video we're going to be doing the Greek Pharaohs Tour, which is under the Alexandria category. Right here. Okay, so here we are in Alexandria. Let's go ahead and switch characters. We're going to be William Miles, modern day mentor, father of Desmond Miles. The Greek Pharaohs, number of stations seven, region is Alexandria. Learn about the founding of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Estimated time, five minutes. Welcome to the Greek Pharaohs. Pharaohs were considered divine incarnations of the gods. As an avatar of the gods living on Earth, the Pharaoh's role was to preserve fundamental values and universal harmony by removing chaos, easefet, and ensure that justice, mot, prevailed. The Pharaoh, by divine ancestry and through multiple offerings, was the bond that unites the world of men to the world of the gods and allows the maintenance of the cosmic order. The Ptolemaic dynasty reigned over Egypt from 305 BCE to 30 BCE. The dynasty was called the Ptolemies of the Lagids in recognition of the founder of the dynasty, Ptolemy Lagos, a Greek general and close friend of Alexander the Great. While Macedonian, Ptolemy Lagos understood that to be accepted by the Egyptian people, he would have to adopt their traditions. Upon assuming the title of Pharaoh, he changed his name to Ptolemy I Soter, meaning savior. Born in 356 BCE, Alexander the Great went through a hasty education in the affairs of the kingdom before integrating into the Macedonian army, where he quickly rose through the ranks. After his father's assassination in 336 BCE, which some believed was orchestrated by Alexander himself, he became king of Macedonia. Ruler of a unified kingdom and leader of a large army, Alexander set his sights on conquest. Eager to reclaim the Greek cities of Asia Minor, he took on the Persian forces, earning victory after victory. Ever victorious, Alexander the Great marched on laying siege to city after city until he reached Egypt, where the Persians were defeated yet again. Viewed as a liberator by the Egyptian people, Alexander decided to become Pharaoh in due form. He traveled to Thebes to make a sacrifice to Apis, then went to the oasis of Siwa, where he was proclaimed son of Amun. Officially Pharaoh of Egypt, Alexander spent much of the winter there, and founded the city of Alexandria. Perhaps not coincidentally, being pharaoh allowed Alexander to spread propaganda to prepare further conquests. He resumed his military campaigns in 331 BCE. On his deathbed in 323 BCE, Alexander the Great gifted the satrapy of Egypt to Ptolemy Lagos. Perfectly aware of the value of Egypt, Ptolemy ensured not only the stability of the country's borders, but also its economic and military development. At the same time, he worked with the Egyptian elite 
to maintain the internal order of the country. By 305 BCE, Ptolemy, well respected both in Egypt and in the Mediterranean, was at the head of the largest fleet of the Hellenistic world. Ptolemy officially took the title of Pharaoh of Egypt in January 304 BCE, on the anniversary of Alexander the Great's death. Alexander died in Babylon in 323 BCE. His remains were placed first in a solid gold sarcophagus and then within another. The casket was carried in an ornate custom wagon, gilded and set with precious stones and pulled by 64 mules crowned with gold. The funeral procession was diverted to a grandiose temple in Alexandria, built in the conqueror's honor under the orders of Ptolemy I. Julius Caesar visited Alexander's tomb at the capture of Alexandria, and the Roman Emperor Augustus reportedly placed flowers there. However, though many powerful leaders claim to have visited it, the tomb's location has gone missing from history. Some accounts do state that the golden coffin was replaced by a glass sarcophagus, probably by Ptolemy X. It is also implied that Cleopatra may have plundered the tomb in a time of financial crisis. All right, and that's the end of the tour. And we got the trophy Polymorph for completing uh, five tours with at least five uh, different skins. I said that terribly, so let's just look at the trophy to see how they worded it, because it's surely better than what I just said. Uh, let's see. Complete tours with at least five different characters. Okay, so I just made my explanation a little more complex. All right, so as usual, let me know what you guys want to see next. Let's go through the remaining tours, starting with Egypt. So just let me know in the comments what you want to see. And whichever is most popular will be coming up next. All right, so that's all of them. So we're done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.